Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. No matter where you are and no matter the time, it's devotion time with Miss T. In today's devotion time, we are continuing our devotions from Our Daily Bread for Kids. And our topic for today is Marked by the Owner. Marked by the Owner. Our memory verse is from 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 22, and it reads, God put his spirit in our hearts and marked us as his own. We can now be sure that he will give us everything he promised. If you ever see a cow up close, you might notice some letters or colored tag on its body. A farmer will often put a mark on his animals. He does this to show that the animals belong to him. Farmers choose a special way of marking their animals that is different from other farmers' marks. Then, if the animal gets lost, it can be returned to its owner. Everyone knows who the animal belongs to because of the mark. Did you know that the Bible says God marks people too? You can't see the mark, but it's there. The Bible tells us that when we believe in Jesus, The Holy Spirit comes into our hearts. The Holy Spirit is God's mark on us. It means we belong to Jesus. When we belong to Jesus, we receive all of God's promises. He will be with us. He will protect us. He will provide for us. He takes care of his people, just like a farmer watches over his animals. Once we ask Jesus to forgive our sins, we will always be his. No one can ever take his love away from us or pull us away from him. Even if the world seems scary, Jesus is watching over everyone who carries his mark. I love the story that is written in the devotion today. When you go about, if you live in, say, the woodlands or anywhere where there's a farm, you could see animals that have either marks on their ears or in their bums. The marks show who the animals belong to as we read. Now, we have learned that the Holy Spirit in our lives is the mark that we belong to God. Because when we say, Jesus, come and be my Lord and my Savior, be my God, he gives us his Holy Spirit that marks us and shows the world that we belong to him. But how is the world going to see that we belong to Jesus through the help of the Holy Spirit? Do we remember the fruits of the Spirit? Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. Now, when the Holy Spirit lives inside of us, he marks us with these characters. And I tell you, it's not everyone who can live patiently, showing love and kindness, being gentle and long-suffering to others if you do not have the Holy Spirit. When we show these attributes, the world will know that indeed we belong to Jesus. And from our memory verse where it says, we can now be sure that he will give us everything he promises. When God marks us with his Holy Spirit, he promises to protect us, to provide for us, to take care of us, to shield us, to fight for us. And that's exactly what he will do. So, If you have not allowed Jesus to become the ruler of your life, you might want to do that today. You can say after me as we pray. Dear Jesus, I want you to be the Lord of my life. And I want you 
to mark me with your Holy Spirit so that the world can see I belong to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Yippee! Yay! The Bible says that there's rejoicing in heaven when one person says, Jesus, be my Lord, which is what you have done. The angels are having a party and I'm joining them. I'm excited. So congratulations. You are marked by the Holy Spirit and God will keep his promises to you. Fun fact, the ancient Egyptians were probably the first people to mark their animals. Look at that animal on the side. <laughs> well, if you have an animal, don't go marking your dogs or your cats now. <laughs> okay, until next time, take care of yourselves. Bye.